all of you on the second edition of Indian Defence Space Symposium. I wish I were there at the USI for closer interaction, but my service commitments preclude my physical presence. Do excuse me for that. What I'll do is I'll talk for about a few minutes on how I visualize the role of space evolving in future warfare, and thereafter I'll touch upon where we are and where we need to go. Space is called as the final frontier. Space is infinite in its expanse, and it's also expanding. Like all other frontiers, it is difficult to define its edges very clearly. Mankind has a long way to go to unravel the ministry of mysteries of space. India wants to be part of that journey. This was evident when our Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi introduced the, introduced the cosmonauts under training to India and to the world. They are part of the Gaganyaan program, Indian space mission to demonstrate human space flight capability. Space is also referred to as to as emerging domain of warfare. I believe that is already an established domain of warfare. My belief is premised on the fast space development occurring in this particular domain. History of warfare has taught us that in any war, the initial contest generally occurs in a new domain. The new domain also influences the battle in older domains. For example, initially, the naval power was able to influence battles on land. Later, air power influenced war at the land and the seas. It's my belief that now space will cast its influence on air, maritime and land domains. There is however a subtle difference in the traditional domains of warfare and space. Combatants do not reside in space, unlike land, sea and air, where they live and fight. Currently, activities in space are controlled from land. This makes exploitation of space an interesting phenomenon. It's an uncharted territory where concepts of combat are yet to evolve and mature. Space is also a global common and must be used for the benefit of mankind. It being a global common, there can be no concept of sovereignty in space. The rules what constitute an infringement of national interest is also yet to evolve. Space requires capacity development not only in the physical domain, but also in development of new concepts. All this will require a legal and academic viewpoint and an approach. The development of legal and academic viewpoint is equally important for a developing nation like India. However, a voice can only be heard once we emerge as a major space power with proven capabilities. India has proven its nascent capabilities in position and timing, ISR, comment. It is now on the verge of expanding it further. SBS-2, NAVIC, experimental LN satellite and dedicated communication satellite for defense are already a reality. Larger projects on these are on the anvil and the horizon.